Well, good morning, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids, and on this side of the room, you'll see it's 80% humidity, 25.4 C. Now, I've just turned that fan off there, and we go to this side of the room. We've got 75% humidity with 26.7, and you'll see there whether you'll see there. I've got the window open. Right, so let's gently take you around and uh, just show you how things are doing. I mean, I'm absolutely drenched. The back of my hair is, uh, it can't cope with this heat. Although it seems quite cloudy outside. Okay, now the only things I'm going to do today are the frags. And you'll see that they're over on this side. Um, I do change things around um, just because sometimes I think, well, they'll be better over this side. It'll give some the others a chance to um, have more light, although this is under that um, wand spectrum light. And uh, these are doing very nicely. And what I try and do with these now, can you see how healthy they are, is um, I try and uh, flush them through with water every other day and uh, I've got some lovely root systems on them now so that's what I'm I'm trying and uh, today will be one of those days um, where they'll get flushed and, uh, so they're on this shelf here this is where the others are and there's a new growth on that one that's that no ID and there's that that one and if we go up to the top shelf here, even my feet are squeaking. Um, this is the TMU, that one that um, I've got this eye and I've put it in this little, on this mount here. And if we look in this one, that's the Phalaenopsis Pulcherium var Marimoto. That sits in this little pot here. So did I say these have all been hydrated yesterday? You see, because we knew the temperatures would be high today, there's one of the little Stellas Argentita, and this is that nice big one here. And the new growth, I do believe, is on this side. Can you see? There, I need to put to my little step so I can step up. And uh, but that one is enormous. This one here. Hydrated that yesterday, that new growth. This is pastoral innocence. And uh, let me just get my step. It's terrible when you're shrinking in your old age. So there's that pastoral innocence, there's that one. This is, of course, Walkeriana. And that sits under this full spectrum light. Now, this light goes on as soon as I get up in the morning. I don't wait. First thing I do is uh, come out of our bedroom and into here, look at the temperature, put the um, fans on and uh, then this light goes on straight away. And if we look at this one, that of course is the Kaisis um, Lemingi Eye. Sorry about the, the colour because you'll see a little bit of uh, pink here will you? And there's that new growth on uh, the Cilogeny Berfidiensi. And uh, I'm able to put this one down here just to show you. This is the um, Dendrobium Chrysotoxum. There's that new growth there. And there's that new growth there. So after having a few days away, I actually started to think about the orchids. Um, that amounted and whether or not I could actually put them in um, back into either the water culture or semi-hydro just to cut down the workload because I can't tell you there's so much workload when you've got mounted orchids and um, I did enjoy that freedom on holiday of being able to relax and not think about the orchids so some have changed over some I haven't and of course these are all the vandacious ones 
and I've, all I've done is move them from that shelf there over to this shelf here. Um, this is the other uh, chrysotoxum. Now I've left these mounted for the simple reason these do seem to enjoy being mounted and there you see, can you see that new root straight away? So uh, I'm quite happy to have those two mounted. And I've got my steps so I'm alright. And this is uh, Dendrobium um, Garen, sorry, Gatton Sunray. Likes it here. And behind with the new growth there. If I could just manoeuvre this and just show you this one. There's that new growth there. And that's the um, Pro Catabolia Jarak Green Star. So let's uh, just move things back. I like them to be. Uh, in their own little place and of course we're on the window side now and these were all hydrated yesterday RLC um, Yen 24k by uh, Cattleya Memoria Robert Strait. This is the um, LC Bermondsville Palm with that nice growth here and uh, we move along. I'll have to do this while I get down because you won't see with the light, I do apologise. But what I've done yes, um, yesterday is just bring this one. This is Miss Sideria japonica, now Phalaenopsis japonica, which I have over the other side of the room, but I've just brought that here um, just to give it a little bit of extra sunlight. And uh, this one here, can you see the new roots coming out on that one? And that's um, the um, Lelia autumnalis. You see? Setting down new roots. That goes up there. Now is this Labarta or Labiata? Um, this is Labarta. The root's gone round and round that way. And that's doing very nice and of course you've seen this one here hmm. I have to come off my step the uh, Aradis Volcata let me see and that's that's doing very nice there we go that's the uh, Sidon Demphinia Matrata and gosh I'm sweating here uh, and this is the Lelia Anseps in this window here So partially it gets full sun. And we can stretch over here in the windowsill area. Um, this is the, uh, which one is this? Fred Clark Aura After Dark SVO Black Pearl. So that one's fine. In the full sun. This is the one that I i uh, have done what um, Michael McCarthy suggested. And there's that little tiny growth, can you see it? And that's just got dry sphagnum moss. He said to lay it down, which I have done. And uh, there was the uh, area that was rotting. Um, that's drying up now, thank goodness. And of course this is the Dendrobium thysiflorum. Good old faithful. If I go back on my step now. We're in the sun, unfortunately. This is the uh, Sick Nodies Wine Delight. There we go. And that appears to be doing fine. And this big one here will come out of the light. Because this is a big one. Hold on. I don't, what, what I don't want to do is knock things about. So this is the um, Catacetum pileatum yellow giant. That was the first growth this year. That's the second growth. That's the root system. You see? So I know I can grow them. It's just um,
with the other one, that, that growth started quite high up on that suitable. You see there's no water in that, although it's still quite um, moist. And, uh, but that's quite a good thick pseudobulb there and that one's coming up just as well. So I'm hopeful, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, that Cygnogy's uh, Taiwan Gold will pull through for me. Now, hold on, I've got this in the wrong way. She says, making a hash of everything, so I do apologise. Right. This big one here, which is Cattleya Dusky Made by um, RLC Bruce Randall. Um, I tied that up, that's that new growth. I've tied some of these other pseudobulbs up and I've brought it here. That, so that's the new growth this year. And this is the other, where is it? Oh, this one here. Can you see this one? But I can't, there it is. But I can't, I can't get this leaf here um, to come clear, so it just has to rest that way. But never mind. Uh, down there, if I can go this way, is the um, little tulumnias. And you see, I've got that one there, although I keep knocking them over. And uh, I've got another one here, and you see that one there? Full light. There's the Aradis Falcata. Okay. Um, this is the other one. This is uh, um, RLC, or was it BLC? One of those. Um, I have to be careful now because I've got roots coming out everywhere all over the side here. Um, and that's got that new growth. Oh, you won't see it, will you? Just tucked in there, can you see? That's, that's sending roots out everywhere. And then what I've done is um, just kept two of the um, vandas on this front shelf. You'll see this new uh, growing tips there. And I've just brought this one up. This is the um, Adenium um, Obsum. In fact, it's probably in the wrong place because it's showing it very pale pink, but it's, uh, it's a lovely pink. And I've brought it up. <sighs> see if I can show you here. Now it's taken me two years. I've just had a little bit of bud uh, blast, but I think that's because this one does seem to like um, quite a lot of moisture during the summer. So I thought, oh, if I bring it upstairs into the grow room, at least I can show you. I'm still waiting the cordex to um, to grow there, but it is it is actually going a little bit fatter. Anyway. So here, so what have I done here? Right, these are the dessert pots and in semi-hydro I've got Van der Cerulsons. There we go, nice roots. Only little tiny pots, single serving of a dessert. So that's that one. And it sits there. <gasps> See what I mean? See what I mean? Do this all the time. I tell you, I'm leaving. You, I'm leaving this on here now because uh, I'm not cutting this bit out. Because I spend more time up and down with <laughs> lifting these little things and putting them back. I tell you. But I'm just going to leave that out now. Which is out. I've even lost my label with that one. That's me. That's my latest one. Hold on. <laughs> Three times I did this yesterday. There. And I don't know. I'll have to get, find some little sources for them to go on. So that ever ever you see these little things aren't wide enough for, for the for this gap. Well, there you go. See. And that's going to go back into semi hydro when I finish this video. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's the uh, cakeys of the um, Dendrobium goldsmithianum. That's a no idea, no idea. Fallen up says this is that. Of course, the um, the new uh, uh, brass catlianthi, Jarak 
fire star. And that's our new growth. Can you see that new growth there? And no ID foul there. I'll tell you, I'll have to watch where I step down now because I've got pebbles all over the floor. Oh dear, never mind. Ah, these are the ones I struggle with. Nelly Isla. I've not killed it yet. Never mind, this is another one I'm struggling with. I've not killed it yet. What look at the pseudobulbs. That's got to be Alicera. Look at that. Shame to death. But never mind, I've not given up yet. Um, this is the Gomza. I had it on a mount and it's back in a pot. Simple reason, this seems to be sending roots down and um, I can't seem to um, keep them hydrated enough before they, they start to die off. Here we are, here's another one. Let's have a look what this one is. Look at that growth. Um, that's another Alicera. Oh no, yeah, that's another Alicera. I don't like Oncidiums. That's why they don't do well for me, you know. Because they know I don't like them. But what can you do? So I'm going to get up again now. Hope I don't um, fall everywhere. That's a Patio Pedalum. Now where's my label gone? <gasps> See, I've lost my label on that one. I've got two. I'll have to find that label. It's either Colour Pukingi Eye or Otheanum, I think. That's uh, Rinkat the Enthi, Fushu, Glory, Happy Holiday. That's the other 24. Um, Yen 24. That's the Cameridian Prestons. And if we go on this shelf here, this is the um, Epicat layer, Alatilio, Santa Maria. Some of them are converted very nicely. This one here, Lely Rubsons, that's sending out new rubes, and I'm really thrilled about that. And uh, this is, of course, the uh, cat layer. I'm trying to save this one, and that's uh, that one. So, keep my fingers crossed. That's. Um, Pamela Heatherington. You see the marks where I've had a little bit of scale. Those little white marks. That's the other part of the um, Fushu. Oh no, Hey Song Tian Mu. This one seems to be doing very well. Ballara, Peggy Ruth Carpenter. Don't ask me. But this, these growths are extending, and look at this one, yeah. So I must be doing something right. And of course this is the cat layer, Gaskiliana. And that's doing fine. And like I say, I brought these over here onto this area. Don't that just, never mind. Don't get upset, Margaret. And this is where I put some of the others. Um, that's the Vanda Kirbyfolia there, look at that root coming out. And, oh, that big one at the back there, that's um, Dendrobium uh, Gracilicoli. There's the other. So the two on the front shelf are the same, they're Taiwan Gold. And they're the ones that have got the largest um, leaf extension. So I've brought these others here. And the full spectrum light I've got over there, not the one this, that's the wand, but the other one. Uh, and they come all over here. So, as though it appears that they might not be getting a lot of light, um, which I've just switched off. Um, they do. So that's the other one. That's um, Colour of Kingi Eye. So I'll have to look for my label now. That's another label I've lost. And there's that other one. And of course, this is the RLC Pink Empress. And that's that nice big sheath there. And uh, this is Labiata. Look at that. And if I can bring this step over. Right, we're up in the gods now. 
and these are the bark areas. See? Nice roots. Those are the two new leaves on this one, which was my original one. Oh, this one's the um, Dendrobium Formosum. Oh, no, Dendrobium Dormary, wrong camel. That growth there. And those, the other two, are the bark areas. And of course, this is the humongous growth this year of the Dendrobium Chrysotoxum. And that's the Cattleya Forbesii. So, just a little change here. I've brought and elevated up the Hoyas. And the reason I've done that is because down there on that other shelf, um, I was neglecting them in the sense that I'd forget and they'd, they'd go a fortnight before they got watered, which isn't good. So, on this little area here, we've got the uh, Phalaenopsis tetraspis purple, with the little roots extending. And that uh, flower inflorescence. We've got this one that's still in bloom. This is the indigo blue. That's extending. Uh, I put um, Dendrobium hildepoxum in one of my little buckets. That's my ordinary Phalaenopsis tetraspis. And that's the Chatella Day. Oh, which one's this one? This is Bellina by Violacea. And Myrtle said that's a root, so he who knows all must be right. And here we go. This is Amboensis. I've got little ones down there that I won't go through them individually. And if we go with my knee down, and uh, I've got a leaf going here on this one. Do you remember? Oh, look, it's just gone. And, uh, but never mind, because uh, this one seems to be doing fine. And uh, it looks a bit moth eaten, doesn't it? Um, this is Gigantica peach. So. This little thing here, I'm not going to touch this in case I knock this one over, is the um, Scaphoglottis. And I've got two over there. Let me see them. One there and one tucked over there in the corner. And they're in water culture. Actually, I'm going to move that one because I want to just manoeuvre these round. So this is Phalaenopsis um, Yang Yang Gag and Cherry. That new leaf. This one here is our gym princess. Look at that. And you see the, the roots doing very nicely. And this one here, I like to show this one because this is the one I've saved. Um, you know, the Tesco um, one from last December. And there's the root, you see? You see? And there's the water level going down, so I've not put any fresh water in yet. But I think I'm going to, because you can see we've got the two bottom leaves going now. So I'm going to fill that up today, put a little bit of nutrient in it. And uh, with a bit of luck, um, I'll probably lose those two leaves now, but um, they should be fine. And on the bottom shelf, let's have a look here. Um, this is um, Little Zorro. Can you see? Little Zorro. Doing well. Not, not objected. Um, these are little no IDs, you see. Can you see them? I've checked the roots and they're all doing fine. Um, this one, I'm a little bit hot, that's why. There. This is Phalaenopsis Sunrise Red Pioca. Now if you look at those roots, you see, I still have to be careful until it sends a new set of roots out. But, you know, at the end of the day, we can't complain. Now I'm going to 
turn round here if I can in this tight space. And this is the um, hieroglyphica, the one with crown rot. So I'm just going to try and keep that alive now and see whether it'll send out a cakey. And with a bit of luck. Uh, this one here, um, no ID, dropped a leaf. But from that drop leaf, we've now got um, a new root. And that's the Dendrobium polyanthem. Just put that there for a minute. I want to show you this one. This is the one that was on the cork mount. And uh, I've put it in here. And look at the, can you see? There. The roots now branching. There's that one there and there's the one just tucked behind it. And so this one loves it. That goes back there and this one, this was my retirement one, there's that new leaf. And there's that root there, can you see? I still have to watch this one though because um, those old roots may well rot on me. And this is the uh, Ascocendrum, that little one there. And the, this is the Cattleya Cernua. So if I just try and get up now. now we're looking here at the Aspasia and now I had that mounted but I decided to put it on a piece of um, polystyrene with just a couple of the roots touching the water so it's got air to the roots I didn't want that base to be in any form of water and that that seems to have like you know like the transition, it's not, it's not objected at all. And of course, this is the uh, um, Angraecum sesquipedale. With that nice new leaf there. And oh, um, this one is the um, Dendrobium pendulum. And I've just got on this new growth here. I've just got new roots. So. And I do struggle with it. This one likes to be very moist during the summer. So I've put it in this um, plastic pot inside this terracotta pot. And with a bit of the same I've done with the Dendrobium crumenitum as well. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, <laughs> she says, that um, they'll settle there. And of course this is the, which you can't see because of the light. That's their Phalaenopsis with the uh, Findlay eye with that nice new extending root. And this is the Lelia purpurata, that new growth just tucked. And you see down there. And there we go. This is the Maxillaria. And this is the Sergio Aria, Yukusuku story. And there's the other one there. But again, you see that other one's the least brownie. Anyway, from me to you, take care.